Hey, what up, peoples? Uh, this is Anonymous, and you're watching A Bro Catch Up. More than two decades behind bars for a rape and murder he says he didn't Yeah, uh, 2014 has been real busy, uh, really, really busy. Um, on, on the studio production front, done uh, the new FM, jingle rebrands, station imaging, a couple of uh, movies, um, did an exhibition um, with experimental uh, music production type stuff called Resample South Auckland. Uh, put out Layback's EP, put out the Tina Porter Artistic Response, um, and a whole bunch of other stuff, um, as well as um, doing a, a big show in um, Southland, uh, arranging music for 200 performers on stage. Um, lots of little different projects has uh, really kept me on my toes this year. Um, at the moment, um, doing uh, putting together the opening performance for a uh, guy called Ben Carson um, he's a neurosurgeon he was the first black guy or uh, first guy to separate twins so he's coming um, in a couple of weeks so putting together um, a couple of schools to perform for that um, so just arranging all the music for that um, the Resample South Auckland project that's led onto a whole bunch of other stuff. So, got a couple of commissions to, to kind of expand that that project um, into some bigger, bigger, better things. Um, and a couple of um, productions lined up with a couple of the hip hop cats in the game. Um, always something going on. Yeah, the free tainer um, thing was was uh, Erman pretty much sparked that up. Um, Ehrman being Ehrman, he knows a lot of interesting characters uh, and he happened to know Tina uh, from back in the day so he, I've got a working relationship with Ehrman um, having worked on his previous projects so he just basically hit me up um, if we could do a, uh, some kind of song response and he just facilitated getting all the different artists who all happen to be my favourite artists too um, and yeah so one thing led to another and the project just grew from there and um, had a lot of the dope also spit on it um, and then it grew into a music video concept and that had its own challenges and trying to get uh, Rex and Poetic over but then you know the hood jumped on board for that and one thing led to another and they were here and it was all good it was um, it was a def definite highlight of mine to be working on that project for a great cause because uh, there was definitely a story that needed to be, needed to be told that one Basically, uh, I think I'm almost currently kind of doing it um, with Resample. I know Resample's got a big um, part in kind of the, the lane I head down next. Um, when I was working with some of the APO people, like um, some of the instruments, I was talking to the double bass player about um, where he got his double bass from, and he goes that he went to the forest and he, um, the, 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 he finds a tree that um, he meditates and speaks on and then they build his instrument out of that and then it made me think about um, Islanders, you know, um, Pacific Island people have always taken things from the environment if they hear a bird they'll try to recreate that sound or they'll get two sticks and try to recreate something and I think in a hip hop sense the ability to take sounds from our environment um, whatever they may be and turn that into instruments um, that's been quite a, um, quite an interesting concept that a lot of people have clicked onto and I'd love to take that and combine that with um, I don't know some some more hip hop stuff and orchestral stuff and video and uh, like just put it all together and create something out of it um, so yeah it's kind of cool to be done that lane already I guess it's, it's just it's, it's a natural progression like I started off um, like like a lot of beat makers making the beat pause tapes just putting cassettes in and recording over the top of each other and then when I got to school and I saw um, a recording set up I was like oh cool I want to make beats like you know I was really hooked on that and then you know it, it kind of always evolves so um, once I started making beats I realised oh I've got to learn how to produce tracks so you know you learn to be a producer and then 
as you do that, you realize, oh, actually, if I produce, I need to learn how to use the gear. So it wasn't until that point um, when I had to kind of try to learn the engineering side of things that um, when I was in the studio with a lot of um, engineers, I always heard them talking in terms of frequencies and, and so forth, and I saw them flipping sounds in a different way. And then that's kind of where I started to um, think about, you know, combining the hip hop element of sampling in this very um, unique way of um, engineering frequencies and just combining them to, um, you know, create instruments out of this, you know, out of our surroundings. So I thought, you know, it's all very, all very well to um, play a keyboard sound and try to be dramatic and recreate how you feel about the hood. But then I was like, well, what if you actually go into the hood, record those sounds, and then turn that into a keyboard to talk about the hood? I thought that's a very um, powerful way of um, getting, you know, an expression across. So that's where Resample started from. But also, like I said, as I, I saw elements of it in um, in other genres of music. I was like, well, if in the classical music world, like you know, they're thirty thousand dollar instruments. They go and they're very particular about the the wood that it's made from. Well, we think about Pacific Island music, and we're very particular about the instruments we use to tell our stories. I think in hip hop, that we shouldn't just rely on um, sound packs and stuff that we have no idea where it comes from and so forth, or who who's making it. But we can make our own sounds to put in our tracks and so forth. So, resample really kind of um, grew from from that kind of chain of thought. APO Remix the Orchestra, that's, um, that was something that we had started in 2007 in conjunction with the Auckland Philharmonia Orchestra um, and that's become massive um, since uh, last year we won an International Music Council Award so it's one of the top three programs in the world um, the other one is in um, Lebanon, the other one's in Argentina um, and third ones here in um, South Auckland so we're real proud of that um, we've had a lot of um, amazing New Zealand um, artists come through on that so we've had uh, David Dallas, Tyree, uh, Dave Hamill, Roman, uh, The Movement, um, yeah lots of different artists kind of perform and help these students out, King Caps, CXL, Al Goody um, and basically we just pair up um, students with mentors from the hip-hop world and from the classical world and they um, work together so that culminated in a concert um, two years back in the Auckland Town Hall and that was um, yeah that, that was amazing um, to have full orchestra full turnout um, with um, you know playing with the hip-hop community so um, yeah that, that was great and um, that's still rolling uh, that project's all currently looking for a, a talented cat out there that diamond in the rough that we can um, bring into the middle of these two worlds and build some stuff around them and hopefully create some more magic and yeah in terms of artists um, that I'd love to work with I've got to say that uh, in some way shape or form I pretty much um, I've been real blessed to kind of work with everyone that I actually am a genuine fan of um, I'd, I'd like to work with non- Hip hop artists, actually, um, as to who they may be, I'm not really. Uh, There's no one in particular, but it just, yeah, just looking outside of the hip hop world. Um, P Money is one person I'd like to um, work in some official capacity with. Um, he was a huge inspiration. Uh, P Money, um, my other favorite artist, did it. Um, looked up to coming up in the game was Chong Ni, who was uh, very lucky to have sing on a hook for Ehrman and that was um, that was amazing. Um, uh, yeah, they, they really were the two, I guess, from the, in the producer sense, the two uh, produce, local producers that I looked up to, as well as Submariner, huge fan of his work. Um, actually, I'd love to um, pick his brains and something. Um, and yeah, pretty much those cats. Yeah, I never planned too far ahead, um, even though there's some degree of a general um, direction. But in terms of exact projects and what happens, I've always kind of let things flow naturally, and it's um, been great. I've been able to do some some craziest things, and they were never really planned. Um, like being on on stage with the 
being the music director, being able to turn orchestra, let's play nothing but a G thing. That's not necessarily because I'm the best in the classical world or hip hop world or whatever, but I I had embraced, um, you know, the the hood life that I'd gone through, that we've all gone through, and listening to nothing but a G thing, drunk in a car park. But you know, I also grew up in the church playing classical and being in the orchestral world. So by just um, embracing that, you know, it got me into that opportunity. Um, same thing with um, last year composing, um, doing the soundtrack for a film that um, Paris Goebbels doing all the choreography and um, requests with the dancers and stuff. I mean, I'm not from the movie world or dance world, but um, I kind of just went with my natural skills. So I guess at the moment I'm just riding the resample wave and a lot of the stuff that we've got going on um, with orchestras and stuff um, in film. But I've also got a massive passion for um, education. Um, I remember the first time I I experienced playing something into a computer and it, and it played it back. I was hooked, and so I always try to share that with, with kids. I love um, being able to pass that on to them. So if there was a way, I I'm trying to I guess find ways where I can combine that hip hop and classic and education and social commentary and um, you know technology with what we're able to do in the studio and I've basically just trying to find a way for those worlds to intersect um, that's pretty much what I'll be on next as well as keeping um, the three and a half magic of normal tracks happening um, that's always there well Time magazine called it New Zealand's culture of violence I think it's really important that um, everyone out there um, gets out and vote um, I'm not going to advocate for which party to vote for. I mean, I've, I've, I've personally got um, uh, family and, and stuff on, in one political party. Uh, two years ago, um, I've, I went to Samoa with John Key um, as part of his delegation to do um, some music production stuff there. So, I mean, I've, I personally have um, uh, had a lot to do with all sides. But... Um, I think a lot of the hip hop community, um, you know, if there's people out there that idolise the likes of Tupac and stuff, which we all do, but don't vote out of ignorance, I don't think it's a very good thing because, um, you know, it's people need to realise that we do, you know, we, it sounds stereotype, but there are other countries who are literally right now are having wars over um, fighting for the right to be able to vote. And yet, you know, so many of us hood cats are so ignorant about that stuff, not knowing that we do have a have a say in our in our democracy. And um, if you um, study up on politics and stuff, in the word democracy, it means democracy only works with an informed population. Um, and I think a lot of hip hop dudes aren't really informing themselves about stuff. So it's it's um, you know just take this opportunity for anybody out there that um, politics is a very distant thing. No, it actually has a very um, real effect on your life. How much you're paying for gas this morning when you um, filled up your car or how much your bread is and, um, you know, what time you have to clock in and out of work and what you're going to save up for. All these things that you don't really think about they are all dictated by a, by a system out there that's controlled by people that are voted into power. So if you're not exercising your, your ability to vote, irrespective of who you support um, then that's a wasted opportunity to um, have some kind of external influence in your life so uh, any of you hip-hop cats out there that don't vote I highly recommend that you get out you enroll and, um, and you vote and you contribute to um, the way this country can be